the image in front of you is that of a gra uh, gravid uterus and in the in this view what you are seeing is this is the uh, amniotic membrane and uh, you can see that it's expanding in the head at, at its bottom posterior end giving a spring sign and uh, the spring sign is seen uh, in diamniotic dibaryonic uh, pregnancies so this is a diamniotic dibaryonic uh, diamniotic uh, pregnancy and you can see the thickness of the membrane the and this area is suggestive of the spring sign now from where the placenta will develop and uh, when you see such a sign and a thick uh, amniotic membrane transamniotic membrane or di uh, chorionic mem uh, sorry amniotic membrane this is suggestive of a diamniotic dichorionic membrane uh, pregnancy twin pregnancy so this is the trans amniotic membrane with a string sign. Now the fetuses are, one fetus is in this segment, the other is in this segment. So this, this, is, a, this is a sign of a twin pregnancy, number one, when you see this transamniotic membrane, then if you have to define that which type of a twin pregnancy it is, see the thickness of this uh, uh, membrane, if it is a double membrane or a thick membrane, uh, uh, sorry, it's a thick membrane and it gives a string sign below. It is a diamniotic dichorionic pregnancy, and if you don't see that if this is if it, this is thin or having two uh, lines with no string sign, then it's a diamniotic uh, sorry dichorionic monoamniotic uh, pregnancy. Okay, now let's move further. You can see that the thickness of the membrane and you can see that there is a slip like area so these are actually two three membranes combined together and you can see a linear structure between it this is a transamnion membrane suggestive of a twin pregnancy both the pregnancy are in separate segments this is the abdominal circumference that of the pregnancy number one now Why do I call it pregnancy? The, the gestational age is 24 weeks, 5 days. Abdominal circumference is 202.5 millimeters. This is the uh, vertebra and uh, this is the transverse of the abdominal cavity. Yeah, and it is 24 weeks pregnancy. Now I call this uh, fetus as fetus number one because the one that is close to the os is, is labeled as uh, the pregnancy number one, twin number one. And here you can see the cardiac activity, that of the twin number one. <coughs> and the cardiac activity is approximately 144 to 145 beats per minute with regular waveform. So fetus number one, here it is. Now you see the lie is transverse. This is the femur of the fetus number one. It 
which corresponds to the gestational age of 26 weeks. Let's take, let's do it again. Let's see the, get the femur length again because the fetus is hyperactive. So 24. The femur length is in fact uh, it's measures, femur measures 4.5 centimeter and uh, corresponds to the gestational age of 24 weeks. The fetal weight is 760 grams at 24 weeks gestational age. So the dye is transverse. This is the urinary bladder. This is the heart. This is the liver. This is the liver, the umbilical vein. And uh, this is the stomach bubble. This is the kidney. The kidney is okay, fine. So nothing wrong in this region. However, here this is a, no head is seen, the head is not seen, rather facial features are seen in the form that these are two eyes, this is one, this is two, now the facial and basal skull features are seen, as such no skull is seen, this is eye, this is eye, this is fetal body. and the fetal skull is absent. There is no fetal skull, so this is a case of N and Capelli. That of the fetus number one. Now let's see the, let's move towards the fetus number two. Now this is the fetus number two. Here you are seeing the posterior placenta. This is the placenta, posterior wall, grade 2 to 3. These are placental legs. This is the femur of the second fetus and the femur of the second fetus, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. I press the wrong button, 25 weeks, again, Sorry, again I pressed the wrong button. This is the female man. So 24 weeks is the female man. This is the vertebral column, that of the fetus number two. This is the abdomen. This is the transfers of the abdomen of the fetus number two. And it's, it's, okay, it's also showing the transfer slide. And in this fetus again, you are seeing basal skull bones and uh, here you are. Now you see, this is the body of the fetus. This is where the skull should have been. 
instead of skull we see basal skull bone and the facial skull bones. So this is a case of uh, anencephaly as well. Eyes are seen, this is eye, this is eye and you can see the lens within it. Well, single largest amniotic fluid pocket without including the uh, umbilical, uh, umbilical cord, my ears. Approximately seven centimeters in vertical section in this region and my ears. This is the largest one, 9.4 centimeters consistent with hydramnios, polyhydramnios. Both fetuses are transversal eye, both are anencephalic. The center is posterior wall and it does not, uh, but this is the cervix, so it does not reach the cervix though being posterior segment. Placenta is great uh, three in fact because when basal densities are seen, these are basal densities along with uh, placental legs. It is consistent with grade 3 pregnancy, gap yeah, placenta. This is the knee joint. This is the fetus number 1 that is close to the os. Transversely, no head seen. Fetus number one. I'm going up to above the umbilicus. And this is the here I will be seeing the fetus number two. see the membrane that defines that whether it is the type of uh, twin pregnancy it is. This is the membrane, this. And you can see the thickness of the membrane, you can see the internal uh, and quite slit-like area, separation of the membranes. This placenta is also posterior segment posterior wall. Okay. So the both uh, the placenta show uh, both the pregnancies, both the fetuses have a posterior placenta. Both have transverse fly. Both show transverse fly. Both are anencephalic. Hydramnions is seen. <coughs> All the other features are normal. Thank you very much.